Hi everyone. Welcome to your reading for August 24th, 2021. Please show me what everyone needs to know, hear, or see. Thank you. I hope you guys are doing awesome today. It's super, super hot. Like melting. Um, your shuffle song. Okay. Oh, I forgot to write it down. <laughs> um, okay. Hold on. Give me a minute. I feel love and I think it's the kills or maybe it's dead weather. Anyway, I'll put it in the description. Um, I mistakenly hit shuffle in my playlist. So it's actually one of my favorite songs. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. Some of the lyrics, <clears throat> excuse me. I probably wrote down most of the song. <laughs> Nothing's the color. I cross the desert. Nothing's a lie. What does the blacktop know that I haven't cracked with my mind? Gray as a pill, deep in the eye, no one cry. I feel love every million miles. I feel love every once in a while. Why does my heartbeat feel like a speaker? And that was it. So it's feeling to me, it's feeling to me like someone is, um, like nothing's the color I cross the desert, nothing's a lie. Um, and what, what does the blacktop know that I haven't cracked with my mind? Um, to me, that feels like someone who's driving and thinking and depressed or not where they want to be, like gray as a pill, deep in the eye, third eye, no one cries. Someone's trying to like fake it till they make it. I feel love every million miles. I feel love every once in a while. So yeah, someone's not consistently feeling um, joy. That's what I'm getting. And why does my heartbeat feel like a speaker? And so it's like someone's listening to their heart, but they maybe they don't want to. All right, that's what I'm getting. Actually, I'll just put that right here. All right, so let's just do a little bit more. Mix it up a bit. All right. Your message from spirit. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was actually going to change this up a bit and start with inspiration, but I forgot. So that is where it's going to be. Someone is burying something. Someone is saying goodbye. Someone is um, forgiving. Someone is giving up a fight. Someone is, um, it could be someone putting someone in the past, but it, it really does look like someone is, um, someone's saying their last goodbye to someone. And I, it feels a little final. I'm, I'm not going to say any more yet, but yeah, it does. It feels a little final. Like, it feels like I'm looking up at this person. Like, I, I feel like I have the the view that the person in the coffin would have, looking up at this person throwing down um, <clears throat> a flower. Like, someone's, someone's burying someone, saying they forgive them. Inspiration. The chariot in the reverse. This could be a car accident. I feel love every million miles. Chariot in the reverse. So it could also be that someone is, <clears throat> excuse me, someone is giving up the fight for, like this can also mean arrogance, extreme independence. I don't need anybody. Someone is giving that up. Someone is... Their inspiration is to put down their defenses. In the strength, fears, and feelings, you have the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Someone could be thinking about quitting a job. Someone could have been... Someone could have been demoted... Or 
had their their dreams dashed in some way like somebody realizes that they're not they're not going any further in something someone's worst fear is not working someone's strength is not working in your intuition the moon in the reverse secrets coming out it's in your intuition some of you could be feeling very very um, intuitively blocked like someone's trying too hard the message from spirit could be to stop trying so hard because it feels like this is a lot of effort, something's not working, um, and something's feeling like, like the well is dry here. That's what it feels like. But it's a spiritual well. So it's because you're trying too hard. So relax a little bit. In your closure, the King of Wands in the upright. That guy looks... He looks kind of evil. I don't know if you can see his face. He's got this, it's almost like, um, okay, so King of Wands, that is someone that can see someone's potential, that someone that's very energetic, very, like this is, um, could be a small business owner or even a big business owner. Someone that gets things done. Someone is, again, I'm getting, I'm getting that very final feeling there. And this feels like the picture of somebody at like a memorial service. Fire sign. Somebody that um, drives too fast. So this could be a warning um, to slow down. Not just slow down in what I was picking up there in this spiritual connection. Um, someone's not using their intuition and they're barreling ahead here. And if you don't slow down, you could have an accident that is going to put you out of work. Or worse. Oh, wow. Nothing's the color. I cross the desert. Nothing's a lie. What does the black top know that I haven't cracked with my mind? So someone feels overconfident here. They might not be paying attention. So this is a warning. Slow down. Slow down. This guy goes too fast. King of Wands. Or this could be an even worse message. And it's saying if there's someone that is purposefully doing this, <clears throat> excuse me, because I was picking up depression, that everything is gray. Um, no one cry. No one cry. I feel love every million miles. I feel love every once in a while. Why does... My heartbeat feel like a speaker. So I'm feeling somebody listening to the music. I'm feeling somebody that is like there. He looks kind of crazy to me. The King of Wands isn't normally someone that's crazy. It's someone that is very, very um, capable, very energetic. But someone's not paying attention to their intuition. Um, they, If somebody is doing something on purpose to land in this spot, you might end up in a worse spot, but alive and not working, not functioning. That's a lot of injuries. So warning to somebody, somebody needs to hear this to slow the heck down. All right. In your near future, the nine of wands in the reverse. Yeah, 
that's an accident. That's an accident. That's giving up. That's stopping the fight. That's also embarrassing. It's um, uh, leaving burn, burned bridges, burning, like walking away with burning bridges behind you. You can actually kind of see that in there, even though that's supposed to be a sunset, I think. The bottom of this is the Queen of Swords. Um, Queen of Swords could be an air sign. I'm feeling like I'm reading for a fire sign or just someone who is exhibiting that uh, it's, it's, it feels manic. It feels like a manic, um, like someone doesn't know how to deal with these depressed feelings. Someone's, it's like they go from sad to mad. This feels very, very mad. Somebody is looking for an outlet for all of this energy. And the message from spirit is saying to slow down before you regret it. This is some kind of truth that came to you. Could be, like I said, an air sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. This can mean someone is getting divorced as well. This is the divorcee. This is a very straight shooter. Someone, someone is telling someone the truth. Secrets exposed. This person is revealing secrets. Could be about work. And it could even be about being passed over for something or a promotion, um, something like that. Somebody is eating humble pie and they want to die. Somebody can't handle the truth. So, sorry, you don't get to go out that way. And I, I know exactly how you feel. I actually think that's why, um, I think that's what really helped me start to connect with um, my spiritual side. I felt like I came so close to death, like wanting to die, that it's like part of me went there. And part of me stayed there. Like there's there's a an umbilical cord that I don't feel like I didn't feel like I had before. But you you do survive. Wow. Ten of swords in the reverse. Okay, so that's relief here. That's relief. Um I feel like somebody thought they had something in the bag. This is also an ending. So but this is in the past. It's, it's like somebody thought that they had something in the bag. There was, there were things you didn't know. Now, you know, now you're mad and you're, you're, you need to take action, but not this kind of reckless action that you'll regret, that you will regret, regret. I'm seeing injuries, um, but I see that this is what someone's picturing. Oh, yeah. No one cry. Someone's picturing their funeral in in um in a glorifying way. Like you'll all miss me when I'm gone. Somebody somebody can't face himself. Somebody's been extremely arrogant. Um Oh, someone's learning a really hard lesson here. Someone's, someone's, yeah, someone's getting some humble pie here and they want to end it all or they want to take some kind of um, destructive action. Like he really has a crazy look on his face. This feels like, um, like I'm, I'm picking up on firefighter because of all that red or some kind of hero type um, profession, male dominated profession, secrets are out. This could be a boss. This could be letting somebody go. Like this person could be saying, we are relieving you of your duties. And this person used to have a really high position and it's bringing them to the brink 
because they hit this ceiling or or they got fired for overreach in some way. They're really embarrassed. Everything about them is coming out here. Holy, okay. Like police, could be police, <clears throat> police, military, firefighter, um, something very physical, something very adrenaline. Um, and that's how this guy is trying to take out his frustration. He, he needs to feel some relief. He needs to feel some relief. This guy is used to being able to fix his problems, maybe in the dark or with um, arrogance or with, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, domination. This guy's used to using domination and now he's, wow, he wants to go out a king. Somebody was a king. Somebody has been... A king has been um, dethroned or um, secrets have been exposed about him. This is affecting his job. He's getting embarrassed. He's getting some kind of truth pill. Gray as a pill. Deep in the eye. No one cry. Yeah, this guy, he doesn't know how to deal with it. This guy is full of testosterone and he doesn't know where to put it. So he has to give up the fight. That's the message from spirit. You have to give up the fight. You have to surrender. Wow. All right. And there we go. Fallen star. The star in the reverse. Very disappointed. This guy wants to die. He does. He wants to die. And spirit is saying, give up the fight. Surrender. Give up the fight. This could have something to do with love at first sight as well. Also, this is going to bring you the most meaningful thing in your life. Even though it doesn't feel like it right now, it is. You have to be brought to your knees. So somebody went up the ladder in the matrix they're getting kicked out of the matrix. They overshot their arrow or oh, they overshot a few things. Um, they're in disgrace. Somebody has written them a letter or a message or um, a phone call very to the point saying, we're relieving you of your duties. And now this guy's ego doesn't know what to do except self-destruct. Hang on there, buddy. Hang on there. So anyway, where I was going was the matrix has kicked you out. Now it's the time for your spiritual growth. Advice. Four of swords. Wow. Okay. Oh, I have been trying to get this reading out all day. I'm so glad I finally got this out. It, it, oh, and another message that um, I kept hearing all day was you're perfect exactly the way you are. Um, yeah, someone needs to hear that, that you're perfect. You don't need the uniform. You don't need the glory. It was all, well, it was all based on, how can I put it? It wasn't based on spirit. It was not, it was, it was hindering your spiritual growth. You're getting kicked out for a reason. So you can grow. So you can grow. You have some kind of special purpose here. So your advice, the four of swords and the upright. This is the card that the soldier, um, the soldier lies on his own coffin before he goes off to battle and contemplates his life. This is deep, 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 deep thought. Somebody's remembering something that somebody told them. So someone needs to meditate. Yeah, secrets are exposed. Um, work is 
either horrible or it's non-existent. Someone's been let go. Um, like I said, for some kind of overreach, there could have even been like some kind of scuffle. But yeah, someone, someone has ruined their own image and that's all they have left now is an image. And I just keep seeing that red and it, it feels like, like I was saying before, like mania. Um, yeah, now it's time to slow down, meditate. There's something about the earth here, truth about the earth. It, it almost feels like when you meditate, you'll get, you have the star in the reverse on one side and you have the queen of swords in the other side. It's like, it's like you're stuck in this place where you have to give up and listen. Somebody has to give up and listen. Someone's been very, very used to using their um, stamina, their, their um, uh, what's that called? Endurance. Somebody has a lot of endurance and you have to give it up. Endurance has got you to this point in your life. Now it will get you killed or injured. You have to give it up. This is also being incredibly independent. So it feels like your inspiration has shifted now. When you give it up, your, your inspiration is going to shift to independence, doing things on your own. But this is after eating some humble pie. You just have to survive that first. All you have to, just remember that. All you have to do is survive. That is your only job now. It looks like you have some time off alone. You could be writing. You could be writing. You could be reading. Maybe you're supposed to be writing and meditating. Nothing's a lie. Nothing's a lie. That's what this feels like. Like nothing is a lie anymore. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's some kind of relief here about lies being exposed. Like it really, it hurts like a son of a bitch. It does. It hurts so much right here but it's also a relief so you've got to take that pill it's a bit of a bitter pill but you will survive if you let go if you let go and you think and you meditate and you journal you write there's something here about um so not working. This is not working. This is time off. This is this is feeling like time off. Um, this could be okay. Someone someone could have been or is going to be relieved of their duties. There could be some kind of self destructive accident related event, um, but there also could be somebody getting put into, um, like a, I don't want to use the wrong word, a psychiatric facility. Okay. That's the other way that it feels like this could go that if you don't tone yourself down, you could get put in something for your own safety, for your own safety. Wow. All right. This is crazy. What was it called again? Um, I feel love. I think it's the kills. Um, nothing's the color. So everything's gray. Except this guy's rage. Because he, like I said, he goes from, he doesn't have any middle emotions. He doesn't have patience. He doesn't have, um, he's, he's very, very spontaneous. He's very impulsive. So you got to slow down. So yeah, so if he's not feeling adrenaline, he's feeling nothing. So this guy, 
Okay, what I just heard was getting timed and spaced. That's a, a term that my ex used to use. It was like when you get sent to the, you know, the, the psych unit for evaluation, the moon and the reverse. All right, nothing's the color. So yeah, something's gray. It's either adrenaline or it's nothing. I cross the desert, nothing's a lie. So this person feels like he's crossing the desert. Um, the lies are all out, nothing's a lie. What does the blacktop know that I haven't cracked with my mind? So this person's very, very, very smart, but they're also being very, very, very impulsive. Gray as a pill, deep in the eye. So this is feeling like your third eye to me. This is your spiritual center. You need to give up and give in and listen to the truth. And for some people, if you're not this, this um, impulsive testosterone filled, um, kind of used to be a maniac. It looks like he's getting toned down here. He's getting brought down a notch for sure. This guy's getting humbled. Um, the advice could be to go for a drive, just let go and go for a drive, not driving into anything. Cause that's what I was seeing. Somebody just <clears throat> not having to, not knowing how to deal with, um, um, like rejection on the job. It could also be rejection from a person, somebody telling them that they, um, they don't want them. It's not working. Someone's letting somebody go. A job is letting somebody go. Somebody's very disappointed. Somebody's going through some kind of testosterone related mania, heading for something bad, needs to slow down and meditate while you drive. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. And the truth can float right into your brain and down through your crown chakra. But if this person needs to heal a lot, needs to heal. So again, it, it could be an accident that you're healing from. So slow the heck down, slow, slow, slow down. I feel love every million miles. I feel love every once in a while. Somebody's feeling alive or something when they're driving. It could be, I, I completely relate. Especially that song. I could drive to that song forever. Um, why does my heartbeat feel like a speaker? So yeah, someone, someone's heart is pounding. Somebody is listening to their heart, maybe for the first time. Someone's being forced to feel their heartbeat. Someone's been... Like this person has so much endurance and I feel like they, they didn't face their emotions. This is an eruption of emotions as well. The moon is very, very emotional and it feels like it's all repressed emotions coming out. This person needs TLC. They need time out. It feels like they're ostracized though. They're alone. They're alone. They need to give in. They need to give in. Start writing your feelings. Start writing your repressed emotions. You will get through this. You will. I survived it. So can you. Everybody, everybody that comes out the other side, they went through this near-death experience at least once. All right. I hope that helps somebody. Um, Please slow down and take care. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.